Welcome to the final section of this three-part Stickler's Fibre Optic training video. Here we will look at the importance of cleaning in preparation for fusion splicing and explain the best process to follow. Dust particles that remain on a fibre during splicing will cause alignment issues and degrade the quality and performance of a splice. It is absolutely critical that you eliminate all contamination before splicing to ensure the optimum performance of a network and to save yourself from time-consuming troubleshooting in the future. The good news is that the process required to guarantee a perfectly clean splice is extremely straightforward and quick to perform. The cleaning fluid and wipes found in your kit should be used to remove any excess primary coating and clean any contamination caused during the stripping process. It is important to always clean the fibre before cleaving. There is nothing cleaner than a newly cleaved end face and once you've followed the cleaving process you do not need to clean the fibre before splicing. Cleaning after cleaving could potentially contaminate the fibre, which will not only create a spike in signal loss, but will also create additional work for the fusion splicer in the pre-burn phase, shortening the lifespan of what is an expensive piece of equipment. When your fibre has been stripped and you are ready to cleave, open the lid of your splice and connect to cleaning fluid and remove a single wipe from the clean wipes box. Placing the wipe in the palm of your hand Press down once or twice to dampen. Wrap the wipe around the bare fibre, gently squeeze, then slide along the length of fibre towards the end. Listen for the squeak, which will indicate the fibre is perfectly clean and ready for fusion splicing. When using your stickler splice and connector cleaning fluid, you must make sure that you have placed a cleaning wipe over the dispenser before pushing down to release the fluid. This will prevent any risk of the fluid coming into contact with your eyes and mouth. By following these steps, you will now be able to guarantee your splicing is perfectly clean. Remember to always clean before cleaving and to listen for the squeak.